Hey guys, Sloppy Joe here, Sloppy in Seattle. Hey, it's a sunny day. Uh, so actually, I wanna do an update video because a few people have messaged me and asked about um, an update on the Red Alpha. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick little update. Things I've changed, things I've done in the last year, year and a half. Uh, as you can see, it's a nice, beautiful day. I'm out for a little cruise, stopped by the lake uh, and decided to do a real quick uh, just a quick two, three minute video. You can see some of the things we've done, changed, uh, updated. Um, hopefully nobody will stop and ask me about the car because uh, I've tried to start this, do this video a couple times and people come by and ask about the car and mostly they say, hey, is it for sale, blah, blah, blah. And then I have to redo this and start over. So let's take a look at the car, do a quick walk around. I'll uh, show you a few things we've done. So really externally, we haven't changed a whole lot. Um, biggest change I've done is to the uh, the hood insert piece. Um, I had had a stainless steel part made that was uh, louvered, and the uh, and I decided it was just it was too heavy uh, and it didn't have enough cooling as far as I was concerned. So this is a piece of uh, aluminum that's been powder coated uh, with a satin black. Um, so this has been uh, laser cut. Uh, all these fins, every fin was laser cut and then hand formed to a very specific angle um, that I requested. And then each of the holes for mounting is countersunk. Uh, so there's nothing sticking up. It's nice and flush. Um, so that's kind of my Mark II hood insert piece being aluminum. Um, the other one, the vents ran just down the middle of the, uh, of the insert. This one you could see they go full width and full length. So it's it's maximum cooling. And uh, you know, I think it works pretty well and it looks it looks a heck of a lot better than that piece of fiberglass that's in there from the factory. And then coming around you can see I like playing around with decals and pinstriping, so um, right now I'm playing around with my Italian flag pinstripe on here. Um, my dad had made the suggestion of trying to do um, a black pinstripe to kind of replicate the end, you know, uh, a red stripe on the Italian flag. So I did that this morning. I'm just playing with it, seeing how I like it. Um, other than that, uh, I've added some uh, just vinyl decals to the door, um, some number number plate emblems or whatever the heck they're called. Uh, I think they're called gumballs. Um, I had a friend of mine who actually uh, is a photographer and has done a lot of pictures of this car. He uh, used to work at a, a facility that did this kind of stuff, so he made a couple of those for me. Um, and really, other than that, going around the car, it's uh, pretty much the same. Uh, under the hood, or under the bonnet, depending on where you're watching this from, The only real big change I've done under here is um, I had an extra set of uh, cam covers or valve covers um, for an earlier Alpha. The ones that were on here were off of an 88 Milano. Um, and these are actually off of a, uh, an earlier engine, an 83 engine that I had. Um, so as you can see, I had them done in red powder coat, that kind of that crackle finish. You can see it's got a texture to it. Um, and I think they look a heck of a lot better uh, in red and with this earlier, the earlier um, script on there versus the later. Um, and so under the hood, that's really the only thing I've done. Other than that, um, I might have mentioned before, but I rebuilt the fuel injection, had it all professionally cleaned out, everything, uh, everything done, uh, what do they call it, like... Um, the uh, hypersonic or electrosonic cleaning done. I, I did all that stuff, uh, pulled it all apart, put it back together. Um, other than that, I'm just gonna do some more powder coating under here as far as powder coating parts, just to clean them up and make them look good and new. Let me drop this. Uh, and let's see, other than that, the biggest change we've done is to the door cards and the dashboard. And as you can see, they are now, uh, the dash top is Alcantara covered and the door skins have been completely redone. And let me uh, actually pull, open up one of these doors and take a look. So they're not quite done. I've still got to uh, 
find some nice replacement trim to go inside the armrest. Um, I'm thinking finding a nice chrome piece or something that'll run through there. Um, but as you can see, if you get this in the right light, these are out, so the, the door skins, you have, this, this is a reused chrome piece. So this is reused the chrome piece from the original. This down below is new leather. And then as you can see up on top, from the chrome piece to the top, the door is all Alcantara and as well. And then now there's a decorative stitch with red, uh, red stitching that goes, that follows the original lines of the original door cards and runs along here. And that goes as well for over here. I apologize. I know the sunlight is kind of messing with this and, and making it a little difficult to see, but you can, you know, you can see it's definitely Alcantara. So the, the whole dash, the dash top is all Alcantara as well as these front door cards. The only other thing we've done is I have a new, um, I have a new lever or a new leather shift boot, I should say, that I need to install. And my wife, um, she was kind enough to take this original shift knob and clean it up for me. And uh, she has a very steady hand, so she was able to uh, paint paint the numbers and the shift lines and then uh, polish it up for me, make it really look nice, new, and pretty. Um, so as far as the Alcantara goes, I'm thinking what I'd like to do is, uh, the guys that did it were the same guys that redid these original Recaro seats for me. So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe finding um, another set of these or having them just do a Alcantara uh, cover, if you will, around this center section of uh, padding. So just up the, the middle pads right in here, each of these have some kind of an Alcantara skin on them. Not replacing the leather, because the leather is all in great shape, but just doing some kind of a cover or something, just so the Alcantara kind of flows throughout the interior. Um, and really the goal here is just to blend old with new. A little bit of the wood for the classic GTVs, the leather, some Alcantara, which is more of a, a modern material that they're working with, and just kind of fuse it all together into a car that's mine. So, that's kind of the project as it were. But other than that, everything else is unchanged. Um, we just drive it, enjoy it, and uh, have fun with it. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's an older Alpha, so it, uh, it has its little tweaks and it gives its little headaches and things like that. But other than that, um, runs, drives, we, it's not a daily driver. We just have fun with it and put it away when we're done. So I'm gonna uh, wrap this up because I'm gonna get on home and uh, get this uploaded before it gets too late in the day and I lose all motivation. So I'm gonna go drive around a little bit, enjoy the car, um, and then back to work tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed the update. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to uh, shoot them my way and I'll answer them as best I can. And until then, we'll talk to you later. Safe driving.